Let's have a look at the New Zealanders. First up, Jason Batty in goal, and through the heart of that side, Steve Sumner. You look at Ryan Nelson, you look at uh, Chris Killen up front, and Elliot in midfield, the backbone they've got to perform today. Well, they do, and it looks a very solid side, and, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to this one. New Zealand will play with a 4-3-3 lineup. You'll see Chris Killen up front, Mark Burton pushing forward, and Aaron Lyons operating out wide. Burton playing up front, but uh, likely to, uh, just as a matter of course and instinct, drop back into midfield. Good pace being shown here this time. The Australians with a chance on the break and with a shooting opportunity. Moore, he doesn't shoot, goes wide, an early chance. Great save, Batty. Still in play. Australia cross again, and it's out of play. Well, Jason Batty, Steve Sumner has just been talking about the wonderful return to this all-white side. Given that Jason Batty hasn't played any football, Steve, this was a great save. Well, he pulled it, pulled it out for the boys there. They're likely to uh, try and keep Elliot out of the game for as long as they can. But look at Elliot hunting for the ball, gives it away on that occasion. Yeah, he did a great turnover on the other side of the pitch and then just gave the ball away. But uh, he's got a nice touch. And he's looking to get himself free in the middle of the park all the time. Good cross comes in and another chance at the near post for the Australians, but cleared away by New Zealand. They're scrambling a little bit at the moment. And Duncan Outen gets a touch and gives possession away again. This will be concerning McWay. And here again come the Aussies on the break. Chipperfield, lovely ball on the left for Porter. Porter pulls the trigger wide and just wide at the outstretched leg from Damian Morey. This is Skip Scott Chipperfield again. He was free in the middle of the park, broke inside like he'd done before. Gets it back. Oh, and then poor control again. Maybe the pitch catching a, a player or two out here, but uh, Aaron Lyons should have done better on that occasion. And here, oh, that's a bad challenge. And we could have the first card of the game. Ivan Bislich will be the player shown a yellow card, and that's justified. It was a lazy right leg. Just needs some life injected into this at the moment. It's just uh, it's quite flat. It may, be, it may be going according to plan for the All-Whites. I'd just like to see him. A chance now for the Australians. Porter with the pace down the left wing side. Checks back, but a good tackle from Nelson. Needed to make it as once again the pace of this Australian side. And he effectively played him, himself into the side with a non-stop performance against the Solomon Islands. Yeah, and I look, Mark's a crafty player, he's an experienced player, and I and I do expect a lot of them when things of that nature is just done there. Great chance here for Killen, but Petkovic is out and makes the save. And just as we talk about Mark Burton, he gets involved with a beautiful near post cross. And Chris Killen, the Manchester City striker, almost nipping in in front of the defender. So he needs to shift that ball a wee bit quicker. Brave work by Nelson. Really brave in the face of... Uh, Damian Morey, who for a moment there looked like he had a pilot's license. A bit of spark, a bit of uh, anticipation now from the New Zealanders that was there only from the Australians early in the match. Good tackle, Chris Jackson. Oh, well, the referee doesn't like it. And I'm convinced here, Steve, he's only getting the yellow card out because the Australians rolled about on the grass. That, for me, was a great tackle. I'd like to see it again, of course. Um, it, it looked fair enough. It was certainly a solid challenge. And, uh, like many of uh, the all white side and indeed a few of the Australians uh, looking to uh, join up with new clubs and perhaps head away on trial as soon as this tournament is over. For the moment, danger with the Australians on attack. Porter up to the edge of the area. New Zealand is getting back in numbers, but Porter's still there. Great tackle. Absolutely superb tackle, and I'll tell you what, it needed to be made. And Burton needs to get the cross in very quickly. Half time, any second. The cross comes in now towards the near post, cleared away by Horvath. And that could just about be it for the opening 45 minutes. And indeed it is, as Charles Ariatima from Tahiti signals the end to the first 45. Ivan Vissilic there and swings the ball into the penalty area. Petkovic comes. And the big keeper was always going to be in control. Well, that's uh, Ivan Vissilic bomb. Alton. Shots back inside. Then runs into trouble and another free kick. And you do wonder at the patience of referee Ariatima from Tahiti. If it's a decent ball and you've got to expect a decent ball played in at this level, it's going to cause them trouble. Delivery now towards the far post. Who's there? Ivan Vislich for the All Whites goes down and given against Ivan Vislich. Goodness me, 
when the whistle was blown I thought for just a moment we were about to have a penalty situation New Zealand clear away at the first opportunity but Porter gets possession back for the Aussies all back into midfield they go Burton does well great tackle by the Kings player and he's done well needs some support though and a little bit slow in coming Lovely piece of skill, though, by Mark Burton. He really has appeared back to his best for this New Zealand side. Davis now, can he get the cross in to the near post? Not bad, and off the head of an Australian for a corner. The That's whole more like it for your whites. Absolutely, the whole lot of that was good stuff. Great move down the right-hand side. Good ball in. Lovely touch from Maury. Jason Batty having to get off his line, and did so. He covered well by Nelson again. It's a great little flick on. James Bannatyne, certainly a different type of goalkeeper as Jason Batty is disconsolate as he leaves the field. And we will see James Bannatyne. What a season the big fella has had. Chipperfield just uh, puts the left foot to it. And that's gone all of 60, 70 metres. And danger here for the All Whites with Maury getting through and the free kick. And Chris Sorosic is saying, what about the first push? And I do tend to agree with him, and he's going to get a card for his troubles. And I'd say he'd be quite right there, too. Certainly he's got a certainly was pushed in the back there. It's a dangerous place. Has he got the touch of Beckham? Damien Maury around the wall and wide. Not much in it. Well, James Bannatyne was uh, stood still on the spot. He hadn't moved. Yeah, I don't think he saw that, did he? Looked obscured there. The moment the All Whites on attack, the throw into the penalty area, all over the back of Chris ball. Gillen, and again, it's given against the All Whites. I would have thought that was even handball then as well. I think Killen's arguing here that he was pushed in the back initially, as we see on the replay, the throw came in, and the arms were all over Chris Killen, and that really could have gone either way. Yes, indeed, and uh, an interested in that first move that Despotovsky went on there. As Laurie went short, Despotovsky pulled away and played the ball through to him. Here Here's a shocking again. pass from Nelson, and it's opened up. Damian Mori on the edge of the area. Great save, Benetine. Well, the big keeper's come out under huge pressure to replace Jason Batty, and he's called into action as James Benetine. Ryan Nelson with a terrible pass, and it was well set up for Mori. Flurry by Aussie. It's the Kiwis again getting forward. Aaron Lyons a bit too one, deep. One of those early crosses, yeah, but uh, just a little bit too easy for the keeper. Thrown out, but won by the All-Whites, and a free kick also going the way of Chris Jackson eventually. He had to battle away, and I think win three the free kicks before he got the whistle. Aaron Lines this time over the ball. Uh, this one is just going to be played in behind him again, and see if we can get something on it. Aaron Lines has put some weight on the top. Yeah. superstar as to where this free kick is to be taken from Duncan Alton and now sends it long looking for Killen what can Killen do gets the flick on lines into the penalty area goes down lines is it no and he'll get a booking Aaron Lines will get a booking for a dive from the referee and the crowd don't like it and it may be a case of waiting for the replay but he certainly went down in a hurry it was a great flick a great touch and then went down danger stuff in the penalty area Stanzo. Rakovic now towards the far post. Benetton comes. Well done, the big keeper. He did well there. And we have two all-white players down in a heat. Benetton's one of them. And he has a defender down as well. And it was Zorazic, I think, the meat in the sandwich. There was nothing he could do there. Benetton had to go for it. Still here for the Australians. Danger still. Numbers at the far post, the ball comes in, on from the Australians, into the area, blocked by New Zealand, still there, here's a chance now for Middleby with the left foot over the bar. Desperate stuff that needs to be. James Bennett time with the long clearance, still time continues, play goes on, the referee starting to reach for the watch, New Zealand in possession, it's the whistle that they want to hear, there it is! 
this, folks. New Zealand have beaten Australia. They are champions of Oceania again. They did it in 1998, and they've done it again in 2002. scenes of jubilation here at Ericsson Stadium. The All Whites together as one in celebration. They have beaten the Australians by one goal to nil here at Ericsson Stadium. Typical trans-Tasman clash. Oh yeah, definitely, you know. Probably wasn't a, as good as game as the spectators would have liked, but you know, who cares? We won, so I'm happy with it. Well, I think you can probably hear the noise right now. I think your comment, who cares? We won. Well done. And thanks for coming over and talking to us. Thanks very much. And thank you to the New Zealand public as well. Hope you uh, appreciate the way we played today and um, we'll see you in France.